Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing 90-day reporting in connection with the destination Thailand visas. As we've discussed in other videos, there are there's still a bit of uncertainty out there about the DTV. Let's be clear, we're still working through it ourselves. I've got a few cases that we've started working on, on cases for people here in the office. We're getting a better idea of how the process works as time goes on. I'm not intentionally trying to hold back information, but I don't like to come out and say something is one way or works one way until we actually see it work out. To that end, and in that, with that in mind, this video is something of a speculation, but based on our reading here in the office of the Immigration Act of 1979 in conjunction with the new decrees regarding these new visas, I think it's safe to say that, yeah, you're going to be looking at having to deal with 90-day reporting in the context of the destination Thailand visa. They, unless I'm reading the Immigration Act wrong, anybody that's not a permanent resident in Thailand or a Thai national has to deal with 90-day reporting regardless of their visa category. So we're basically going to be dealing with that when folks are coming into Thailand on these six-month intervals utilizing the destination Thailand visa. For those who are unaware, if you stay more than 90 days here in the Kingdom of Thailand, you need to file what's called a 90-day report in order to update immigration as to your whereabouts here in the Kingdom. Those who have lived here for a long time, the, between the TM30 and 90-day reporting, I don't know what is the bigger bane to some of those folks' existence, but remains to be seen how this actually plays out in a practical man, uh, manner. We'll certainly keep you updated on this channel as the situation evolves. 